Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now guys, you can see here that we're back to our 2011 MacBook Pro. Now, if you have missed the series on this particular one, feel free to go back and watch it on the playlist. But in a very, very short summary, we have been through the wars with this MacBook Pro. We spoke about upgrading it. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It is the i5 model of the late 2011 MacBook Pro. We have struggled when we first got it, when it was first stuck to factory settings, and it had Lion on it, which was absolutely useless. You couldn't do anything on it. You couldn't even upgrade it to the next software updates because it wouldn't even allow you to go on the App Store and it wouldn't even allow you to go and use Safari. It was that outdated. So I had to physically download the driver onto a USB stick from another MacBook because you couldn't do it on a Windows PC either because those files do not work or download. And then you had to go and boot into that driver and install it that way. It was a bit of a pain because you couldn't do it from the MacBook itself. If you just bought a MacBook like that and didn't have another MacBook it was your first one, you may be a bit stuck without some help. But anyway, besides the question, just like the video says, we put Sakaya on here using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And initially, obviously when we did that video, I had a little play around. And yes, actually it works quite snappy. So when you open the internet pages, obviously you have to take in mind, this is the first time I booted it up in a little while, but it will open Safari and you will be able to search. So we go to Google or we'll then go on YouTube and it will work and it will play YouTube videos. However, not everything is as it seems because a lot of the graphics side of things have now pulled over to Metal X. The maps don't work. There is no editing software on there that now works. So we become pretty stuck, really, because you can't go in and edit anything. Filmora 14 is the only one that will open and let you export it. However, when you're actually editing, you have to do it by complete memory and the audio because you cannot see what you're editing as the preview video does not work. So when you go in there and you start playing around with the video, you cannot actually see what you're editing. You have to guess. However, when you actually, if you can do it like that and you then manage to export it, it will actually download the MP4 file as a working video. You will be able to then see the video. Swings around about, so it's, pro it's just not usable really. So this video is to go ahead and say, if you have a 2011 MacBook Pro, yes, if you're a student and you're looking to go on this laptop, use the internet, watch YouTube videos, Word works on this, pages do work as well, the Bluetooth works, the actual Wi-Fi works, Siri does not work. So if Siri is important to you, don't upgrade. And then once you then get up to all of this, it takes hours to download Sequoia. The dry, downloading the drivers, then actually uploading it onto here and downloading it. It took me about three hours to do it all in total. So it's not a quick thing either. I'm going to downgrade this probably to Monterey, Monterey, something like something like that. I may try Sonoma on it. I have been told that it's slightly better. However, it's still bad. Monterey is probably the maximum that you're going to be able to upload it to. So I think the main aspect is, is this is at this stage, while OpenCore Legacy Patcher haven't sorted out any of the graphical issues, which you probably won't be able to, they probably won't be able to because it's actual graphical software. Finding a loop around that is going to be too difficult. It's going to be a matter of stick with Monterey for the time being. As I said, Sequoia does work for internet, YouTube, 
The battery does drain down fairly quickly. I've just taken this off charge just before starting this video and it's down to 90%. Okay, the battery life on this has a cycle count of nearly 800. So the battery's probably not gonna be very healthy anyway, but it's even still 100 to 90% in probably less than 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not good battery drain. Sequoia really does drain this battery. Yeah, my recommendation is don't do it. Stick with a lower prior Mac OS like Monterey, something along those lines. It works much better. These most recent ones with Metal X and stuff, there's just a lot more apps that also do not work. They will let you to download them, but they just will not open. For example, like DaVinci Resolve, great editing software, it lets you download it, you go to open it, it will just never open. So guys, stay clear for 2011. I'm not sure of anything above that. Anything obviously below kind of 2010, 2009, 2008, 2007 will all have similar issues. But 2012, I'm not sure. There's people that have done it. And I know that again, like this, Sequoia has worked and it's able to keep up with it. Everything is still quite snappy and moves around very snappy. Just some apps won't work. Editing won't work. So guys, let me know, have you got a MacBook 2011? Have you upgraded it yourself to Sequoia or any other of the Mac OSs? Maybe you upgraded to Sequoia and then also had to downgrade it. My thing is I'm gonna go and probably downgrade this one to Monterey or something along those lines. But yeah, let me know. Or do you have a 2012, 2013? What, what MacBook do you have? Have you used OpenCore Legacy Patcher to upgrade it further on than what it should be at this moment in time from Apple unsupporting it? Guys, leave the video a like. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. We are still looking at MacBooks. We are still do, looking at a lot of Apple products. We also have a now a side series as well of Nintendo products. That's another one of my guilty pleasures. I do love a Nintendo Switch. And we've been having a look at tips and tricks on that playlist as well. So if you missed that, go and have a look on the channel and do subscribe. And we'll catch you all in the next one.